Hi guys, uh, here's a quick video for today of just going over the rest of the review of the unit uh, for surface area and volume. Uh, so I decided I'm not going to give you anything new for today on Friday. If you watch the intro video, I have more information about uh, stuff going forward in, in terms of uh, the month of May and now knowing that we're not going back to school this year. So watch that, that information video that I posted with this one if you have any questions about that. All right, number three. Cone, I had the formula here, pi r squared times h divided by 3. I'm going to plug in the radius is 3 and the height is 8. So I'm going to get pi 3 squared is 9 times 8 over 3. It gives me 72 pi over 3, which is 24 pi inches cubed. Now the answer on the back page of your answers there uh, was the original one to the nearest tenth. So if you did have your calculator and you were going to go ahead and um, multiply that out uh, so you didn't have pi in your answer, that would be a total of 75.4 cubic inches or inches cubed. That would be the answer to the nearest tenth. And to get that, all you would do is 24 times pi on your calculator. But I said you could do in terms of pi, so that's perfectly fine. If we did multiply it out, that's fine too. Okay? Uh, 4 and 5 was what we did the day before. Uh, so I went over those answers in yesterday's video. So here's some of the information here for number 6. Again, surface area and volume. For both of them, I had to find the area of these triangles. That's the area of the base. I'll need that. Area of the base is 24. I'll need it for this formula where the height is 12. That would be how I do the volume. And I needed the triangles for the area of the front and the back when I do the surface area. So the front and the back were 24. The work is done right here. Uh, to find the area of the other sides, it's, they're all rectangles. 12 times 6 is 72 for that area. 12 times 8 is 96 for this area. And then this area in between here, this big rectangle there, uh, is 12 times 10, which is 120 for that. So take the five sides and add them up. I have to do some quick adding right here. Um, and when you add those ones up, you get a total of 336, so it would be 336 square feet, feet squared, that one. We multiply this one out for volume, I believe you get 200. And 88, um, and that would be cubic feet. And that's pi out 24 times 12 for that one. Okay, so there's your surface area and your volume for that triangular prism. Moving on to the last problem, number seven here. All right, uh, again, I calculated big B, the area of the base. That's just the area of the square that's 12 by 12, that's 144. So I plug in 144 times 10 divided by 3 it's going to be 1440 divided by 3 and that gives me a final answer of 480 cubic centimeters for the volume for the last one okay so i have to work that out for you there um hopefully you're good uh and all those different ones Again, that kind of sums up the last mixed practice that we had for the surface area and volume unit. And starting on Monday will be an algebra unit. Um, we'll do a couple days of review, especially if there's a delay for getting the packets in. I'll post the packet on Monday online if you guys are looking online. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll be moving on to the next. So have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.